And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Nasus Abyss. I'm going to be playing another really fun deck today. Just like the Lucky Victor that we just played that had a whole lot of keywords and had the Siphoning Strikes buffing up the Victor, that deck was a ton of fun. I'm going to be playing another one, another um, Hoktai special here, where we have played Howling Abyss plus Siphoning Strike before. We did that with Braum Trundle, and that was awesome. Um, but I'm going to be trying it with two different champions this time with Sivir and Nasus. And uh, this is the reason. So basically the whole point of this deck is I want to play the Howling Abyss and create random level 2 champions, because level 2 champions are a lot of fun. And then I also want to have Siphoning Strike to give those champions everywhere plus 2, plus 2. Right, so that's kind of the point of our deck, is combining Siphoning Strike and Howling Abyss together. Alright, so I'm going to try to make Siphoning Strike better by playing um, Sivir, because Sivir has a lot of power and has the Spell Shield. And so that Spell Shield makes it a lot safer to try uh, casting Siphoning Strike. Same with Ruin Runner. Another large unit with Spell Shield that's easy to Siphoning Strike. So we're going to be playing Sivir and Ruin Runner um, here in like the mid game. Yeah, last time that we did it, we did, had Braum and Trundle were our champions. Braum is awesome after you Siphoning Strike, but it's hard to actually Siphoning Strike with a Braum, <laughs> right? Zero power. All right, anyway, so yeah, so we're going to have those two. And then we have Nasus, and you're like, well, why do we have Nasus? Because... Um, you know, like, what are we really doing for that? Well, one, we can slay a good amount of units, you know, with, like, Avalanche and stuff like that. But two, really the the reason why I have Nasus in here instead of Trundle or any other champion is because Nasus has this champion spell that is Siphoning Strike. <laughs> so, you know, I want to have more Siphoning Strikes. I want to get more plus two, plus twos on our champions everywhere. And so, like, that's why I got Nasus in here so that we can potentially have more copies of Siphoning Strike. So there we go. <laughs> Um, so that's, that's, uh, gonna be it. Besides that, it's just, like, early stuff to, like, stop these aggro decks with, like, Avalanche, Ice Shard, try to keep us alive with Tavern Keeper. We'll play Merciless Hunter, because this is basically a champion. Um, and, uh, then a little bit of card draw with Preservarium Sentry, some Chronomancer for some Predict to find Howling Abyss and Siphoning Strike. And that's it. That's gonna be our deck. Alright, so let's give it a try. Sivir, Nasus, Abyss. Let's have some fun. How do we get 12 champions in the deck? Who are the other champions? So you're saying like Ruin Runner and Merciless Hunter are champions, basically? <laughs> yeah, they basically are. Okay, so I want to keep Siphoning Strike Sivir. I'll mulligan these two. And we, I want to find Ice Shards and Avalanches. Besides that, with all these elusives that the opponent can have. I should do a counterfeit copy Siphoning Strike deck. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Prediction. Alright, prediction started. Ooh, no Ballistic Bot. So that's good. Or they just waited for me to... Have the Merciless Hunter first on the Fizz before they played the bot. Which is not good. Wait, why don't I just target the Fizz? I don't know, I was that was really cute. I don't know why I didn't just target the Fizz. I don't know what I was doing. Except that was too cute. It's just waiting to be found. Can you improve perfection? Fire I could just have a 4-2 Merciless Hunter in play, and I chose not to. <laughs> I'll pick a card over there. Alright, so I'm going to be siphoning striking this Ballistic Bot this next round. Prime and ready. Most likely, yeah. Which I guess I could just do it immediately. Business as usual. Hey, Zap. Need a hand? Can't say no to Finn. 
The bot creating, like, the free spells is, is really a big problem. Wait, they just tucked that thing away? Did they just tuck the ignition? I guess they just didn't want to have that card in hand anymore, or... Okay, I guess that card was fleeting anyway from the other... Yeah, I guess maybe that was just a fleeting card, so they just tucked that. Where are the avalanches? Never lost a fair game. Soak it in. Do I want flash freeze? Or pass? I don't think I really want Sivir champion spell ricochet. Because the problem is, like, ricochet, they can just, like, play a spell and fizzle it, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they can just fizzle it fairly easily. I don't know, the flash freeze may be, like, super important, though. It's Flash freeze is probably better than a random card. There are definitely cards that are better for us. But there are a whole lot of cards that are worse. Playing the Howling Abyss this round. Alright, hopefully we get some cool champions with the Howling Abyss. Maybe even an elusive one. Dang, that Draven's pretty big. Ugh. I need Avalanche, not Ice Shard. At least if they go with like the one health elusives, like a bunch of those. Flash freeze you. That's all. Man, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be a seven power thing whenever it comes back. I could try to entomb it. So that's just not very, I know, it's not real likely to work. Down to seven. Now we're cooking. Good block, good block. So we could, we could draw another flash freeze. I still really like our deck. <laughs> Um, I I made the terrible mistake with the Merciless Hunter, right? Like, if I if I just do the Troll Chant better, I would have had that 4-2 Fearsome attacking multiple turns. I Like, I think we probably win this game, right? Like, I, I made a real big mistake with that Merciless Hunter. I don't know why I didn't click the Fizz. I was, like, scared to click the, fr the Fizz for some reason. I messed that up real bad. 
I guess you I didn't keep that merciless hunter. So I have to play this Avarizen Sentry and try to draw a card here. Well, that's not gonna do it. And then of course, like if I would have had the Merciless Hunter, I could have played the Ruin Runner, like instead of like the Howling Abyss before and like attacked and put more pressure on them. But you know, I, I went for like the whole Howling Abyss and have fun. Because that's what I feel like today. So I lost the game. I think the game was winnable. If I would have just kept Merciless Hunter alive and then played Ruin Runner and just attacked more. Ooh, Scythria. All right, Scythria can go big. Can we keep up with a big Scythria? This will be pretty interesting. All right, I'll have to play the Troll Chant correctly this time. So we know they have a dragon in hand, of course. This got the uh, challenger. <laughs> Avalanche Scythria. That's going to be a little tough to do. You're covered. Uh, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. It's definitely, you know, of course, going to be challenging the sentry, you know, have the sentry in the lieutenant trade. That's what I wanted to do. Man, double stalking shadows. Double stalking shadows are pretty scary. Avalanche does help level up Sivir quite a bit. You know, if they play something here. It does 10 damage. It's a lot of damage for Sivir. Mm. How many things have I slayed this game? I guess I slayed one, two, three, just three so far, about to be four. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I could definitely see them having a um, ephemeral screeching dragon, which would be rough. You know, I, I don't think passing here helps me out whenever the longer the game goes, the better it is for them with uh, Scythria and everything. This place reeks of rot and death. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? Money, you mean? So we can get to these three on the right would get us to 15 to get us to 35. Yeah, I was definitely surprised by that pass. I have tons of cards in hand. I mean, I guess they could be setting up for Ruination. Do I just pass? No, we can't just pass. I did this this fearsome hunter second so that you know like the one power 
dragon wouldn't kill the fearsome hunter. Man, that combo is ridiculous. I mean, technically the Sivir's Ricochet could do 4 damage to their Nexus. I suppose it's possible. Matrian Cythria is just really, really hard to beat. They have so many cards in hand, you have to just think that they have just a bunch of Matrian Cythria type stuff. Which is very unfortunate for us. So I want to play Ruin Runner with Taric. I'm, go I'm going to play Taric, of course. I want to play Ruin Runner with Taric because of the Overwhelm. But if I play Ruin Runner with Taric, then I don't have Troll Chant available as well. Is Troll Chant going to be important? Probably not, because if they have like fight spells, they're killing. Taric either way. I don't know. I mean, I guess I can just go Sivir with Taric. Oh, no. so yeah, let's just... I'm ready to shine. Not much I can do about it, you know? It's just... Yeah, congratulations. They're just gonna play another Cythria course and give these... double them up again. Congratulations. My fee just went up. Have fun. So barriers and challengers are not going to be easy to defeat. Frostbite cards are good though. Those can help. Uh, slow the opponent down. No attack. Chase what you want without mercy. It's a living. Cool. I will definitely take that trade. This would definitely be a good game to find the Howling Abyss. Alright, so that kills my Sivir. But we get the plus two, plus two for our champions everywhere. Get rid of this River Shaper. Don't allow them to draw more cards. Um, these Aperos and Sentries are kind of rough. We need to find Howling Abyss. No Howling Abyss. So we have 7-5 Sivir. I kind of want to skip just because I really want Howling Abyss, but obviously having like Sivir or Nasus would also be pretty good. I guess I'm just going to take the Sivir. Look out for Reavers! 
fight the signal fires. Move along, scavenger. There's nothing. Kind of expecting like the maybe the Jarvan champion spell they want me to. Because you know, like I just put a card on top, and you know, I just predicted, and then they ha allowed me to draw a card. So yeah, I was kind of expecting something like that. Our steel will stand firm. Aren't be damned. One out of four. Ready the torches. To the flag. So I have seven cards still. This would level up Sivir for six damage. That last card's another barrier. No quarter. Howling Abyss! Danger pays. Yes, let's go! Alright, we got our Howling Abyss. Let's go! And the Flash Freeze is perfect. Protect the faithful. So very happy about that. Okay. Just passing the round. I'll take the, the round pass. What do we got? Teemo. 4-4 four, four Teemo. Uh, don't have any Poison Puff Caps in their deck right now. Another day in the field. That's alright. It's an elusive. They gotta try to block an elusive. Two worlds, one balance. Leave your bags in the door. Yeah, I mean, I think they just have like a ton of spells over there. That's what it really feels like. Business as usual. That's why they pass. They just have like all like barrier cards and stuff. <laughs> I know. I, I love that. Like every champion gets the plus two, plus two. The rest of the game. That's so awesome. All right, that'll do. Teemo double in those puff caps from zero to zero. All right, one and two. Never underestimate the power of the scouts. Really could have been a two and one if I would have uh, tried to win the first one, but we're just having fun. Okay, another deck going big. Probably War Mother's Call, seeing Trindamir. That would be my guess. I don't know if... I don't know if Avalanche would be really good here. You know, like, I just don't... I don't know. I don't know how good Avalanche will be. So we got Ruin Runner plus Siphoning Strike. That's good. We got Sentry to start with, and we'll have to draw other things to do round three, round four. One of the rounds we can save Spell Mana. Cool. More Sentries. See the Demacian border from here. Safeguard our homes. I think level two Teemo needs to be buffed to put five puff caps in the deck if there are none. It would get a little wordy on the card, but you know, it would be kind of nice if like double the puff caps in the opponent's deck. If there are none, add five to it instead. It's a little wordy, but I mean, it makes sense. I think it could fit. I'll 
that glitters is mine. <laughs> the opponent has zero puff, cap puff caps level down demo. <laughs> I don't think that makes sense. But... I can just passing, so I can just no, I attack. So I can just not attack, and then they, you know, waste all this mana. But not attacking, we yeah, we got to put pressure on them. Big Sivir. Alright, still got Big Sivir. Man, we're just drawing these avalanches. I don't want avalanche. Nothing escapes my watch. So maybe setting up a uh, Merciless Hunter, depending on what they got. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton! Right, Arda? It's a living. Okay. That worked out fairly well. We're gonna need some power, though. Like Howling Abyss. Is what a wrong landmark. Because now we're getting into the point of the game where they're about to start casting Trinomirs and Feel the Rush and all that kind of stuff. Mm. <laughs> Not Ice Shard. That's one of the worst cards we could get. Business as usual. Navarosa's name. That was a pretty poor last two rounds for them. Hold back the darkness. Just lethal. Alright. Okay, so two and two. Yeah, our draw steps weren't helping us. Triple Avalanche? Come on. <laughs> Triple Avalanche, I shared. But good thing my opponent's draws weren't helping them too much either, it looks like. There's the Silver Dragons list. Playing against some Poros. Looks like when you play Freljord, like random Freljord deck, you get paired against other random Freljord decks. Silver Poros. Right, Alright, so Poros. Yorgon. Um, I mean, just again, the Ruin Runner Siphoning Strike is pretty good, but maybe I just mulligan the, the Ruin Runner because we're going to draw Silver. Drawing the wrong champion. Ah, oh, I got elusive on the Poro bot too. We played these Poros just the other day, and um, it's all about the elusives. The elusives are very important. Possible it's not worth it, but I don't really want them to play another Poro Snacks. Considering I was going to be able to challenge that elusive Poro anyway. That's why it's possible it's not worth it. Alright, we got three slays.
Uh, the, the current deck that we are playing right now is right there. Or if you're looking on that Mobilytics website, there is a place to uh, grab the codes. You can export the codes from there. So let's see, I play you. Betrayal Hope revived it. Like this? Oh, I see. Leave your bags at the door. Rom is on the job. Oh, gross. Gross. Get to use the other siphoning strike. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. This too shall end. So of course they just have the one thing they can block. Where are you at? You're at zero out of five. Mm. All unmeasured. Wow. Seems a little, little risky. Have you met my shield? Welcome to the tipsy hour. Alright, so we got all the tavern keepers. These old eyes Healing us for nine. A very important nine. Perhaps we should pause for thought. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. That could be good. Because this is the only fearsome thing right now, so that, that has to block there, but now, like, Braum has to block the Ruin Runner. I don't know what their plan is on this Ruin Runner yet, so they have to block there. I'll keep that alive. And everything else dies. Stay back. Okay, well, that's how it is. Fortunately, like, you only get to flash freeze your enemies. You know, we can't, like, flash freeze our Ruin Runner to keep the Braum from uh, leveling up. All right, hoping to draw a Howling Abyss still. We are three Howling Abysses. We'll take more Siphoning Strikes. But this looks very, very good for us. You're right with having... Cool, I guess we'll take more Siphoning Strikes. It's having Flash Freeze, Ride Negation. I can't really imagine that we lose, and there we go. All right, so I ended up going three and two. Cool. Came back after those first two losses. The first one really shouldn't have been a loss if I would have... Played a little better. Well, that's alright. I went for fun howling abyss stuff instead of, you know, Merciless Hunter, Ruin Runner, efficient killing. 
So it could have been a 4-1, but we'll take the 3 and 2. We'll take the winning record. Um, yeah, didn't get to do as much. Uh, you know, we didn't play against enough, like, slow decks or anything that we didn't get to do en enough Howling Abyss, Siphoning Strike deck. But this is the kind of deck that I could play, um, you know, kind of over and over. Same with the Lucky Victor. These are just fun decks. Um, lots of keywords or lots of champions, um, that kind of stuff. These these two decks, you know, wanted to have some fun decks today. That was the goal and definitely enjoyed it. So if you want to have your own, um, you know, Howling Abyss deck, Howling Abyss is one of my very favorite cards in the game. And so if you want to have like a Howling Abyss deck with Siphoning Strike, give this one a try because I think Sivir and Nasus definitely work. They both work well with um, with those and saw that the tavern keeper was definitely important there and against some aggro decks you're going to need your avalanche ice shards sometimes you won't have your avalanche if you're even if your opponent has a bunch of zaps brayfins um but yeah the sentry draw on the cards is important i'm only going two preservarium because i had the three howling abyss i played the third howling abyss over the third preservarium because i'd just rather ha i'd rather draw howling abyss than preservarium this uh, Preservarium could be another Chronomancer, though. If you want to have some more Predict, you could you could go that route. Instead of playing the Preservariums, you could go, like, another Chronomancer and then, like, a Scrying Sands and get some more Predict in there to help find Howling Abyss and uh, Siphoning Strike and stuff. But that was pretty good. All right, so that's Sivir, Nasus, Abyss. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. If you're somebody like me that really enjoys playing these kind of decks, Go ahead and give this one a try to have some fun with our last week before the new balance patch. And let me know how it's going for you. Let me know how you're enjoying the deck. Um, you know, I, I would uh, love to hear about it. All right, but that's going to be here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.